Okay, I've got it opened up. I'm getting ready to walk us in here. Mm, it smells decent in here and like no moisture issues. Let's see if I can find a light. So this light didn't turn anything on. I'm guessing it's supposed to, well, no, this is plugged in over here. Yeah, here we go. Um, does not smell funny. Carpet's in pretty good condition. This is the, well, really, this is the dining area, but they're not using it as such. They're using this. Um, pretty big living room, actually. Paint looks good. This is the actual dining room. Um, this room is probably a good 10 by 12, maybe. <clears throat> and then, in the kitchen here. Okay. So, I think these are peel and sticks. But, if it is peel and stick, they did a pretty darn good job on it. So, let's see. I believe these are probably the original cabinets. Yeah, they are. Oh, wow. Ugh. That's some ugly wallpaper. <laughs> okay, so the wallpaper's gone. Here's the light picture. I'm not sure what this material... Oh, this is like a... Um, this is weird. I would definitely replace this. So these are not tiles. These are almost like foam. I'm not even sure where you would get that. But anyway. Um, it looks like the appliances are fairly new. Yeah. And they are included with the sale. A little rail light fixture here. Let's check the water pressure. I'm going to see how long it takes for this water to get hot. Um, this is contact paper. So, kind of lipstick on a pig. Um, that's easily replaced. Um, the dishwasher is definitely not new. I'm still waiting on my hot water. I think it's on hot. Maybe not. in a minute. Here's the fridge. Ooh, sparkling clean. Water in the door, water and ice. That's great. Okay, still no hot water. Let's see if that works. Um, laundry room. So one thing about buying a manufactured home is you have to have something called a HUD label. Usually in the kitchen sink, under the kitchen sink, but there are no cabinets, obviously. Okay, there's the warm water. All right. Um, but those are gone. <laughs> so definitely not there. Um, or it'll be in the utility room. Looks like there might be a pantry here. Oh yeah, pantry space. Let's see what else. So that's the only way out of here is through the dining room. There's gotta be, oh, there's the master, okay. Okay, fairly large master. Um. Unimpressed with the closet doors. Um, some barn doors would be awesome here. Not a lot of closet space there, but let's see what's here. <coughs> oh. 
a little extra closet space. No walk-ins. Okay, and here is the bathroom. I imagine this is where the hot water heater, no, this probably used to be a cabinet. I don't know. So this was definitely a DIY project, but you know what? I, I'm not hating it. Like they actually didn't do that bad of, an, of, a, of, of a job. Here's the shower, separate shower. They even put some nicer um, Delta fixtures in here. So that's nice. Updated a little bit. What is this? Okay. That feels like laminate floor. <laughs> anyway, here's the window. I mean, the mirror. You know what? Let's turn this on and. Eh. It reduced it a little bit. Not much, though. Oh, it's getting hot. Okay. So the master is probably 16 by 14, maybe. So it's an ample space. It's weird that it's got these um, French doors. I would probably replace this with something a little nicer. Oh, okay. And there's how you lock. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go see what else it has to offer. Apparently the thermostat is fairly new or like brand new. Um, here is one of the secondary bedrooms. This is probably let's see probably 10 or 12 feet by 14 let's see what's in here oh a walk-in closet okay again no like weird funky smells um yeah i mean you know it's not spe a spectacular brand new home but it's pretty decent oh uh, let's see Okay, so HVAC is running like hell for leather here. Okay, I don't want to break anything. I'm trying to open this, but um, again, apparently it's newer. Oh, here's the guest bath. Okay, this is pretty decent. Probably the same old vinyl that was here before, but it's nice and clean. Probably the original toilet. No weird mold or mildew. Everything's caulked well. Again, the DIY. I don't even know. What is this? Like, I can't even tell what they used. Anyway, it's pretty cute. This seems to be like a decent... This seems to be pretty decent. Here's the other bedroom. Apparently, the security system comes with it as well. If I read the... Um, Seller's property disclosure correctly. Um, also a decent sized bedroom. I mean, I am not hating this at all. Here's the pa electrical panel. That's unusual. Okay, so 200 amp main. <clears throat> One thing that I've learned about manufactured homes is that typically their wiring um, is left pretty well intact. Um, just the way that they manufacture these things. I wonder if this is a walk-in. It is. Oh, they were mixing colors there. Yeah. Walk-in closet. Again, doesn't smell funny. 
There's no soft spots in the floor that I've come across yet. Um, yeah, this is pretty decent. I'm not, I haven't found anything that would prevent me from buying this. Um, and even still, so I can pull some comps. Um, we are paying a little bit of a premium because this woman bought this house. She's got to pay the mortgage right back and her real estate agent. Um, but you really, as you've probably seen, are not going to find anything like this in this price range. Um, most of the people that have wanted to make an offer on this home, unfortunately, only qualify for FHA lending. And according to FHA, you have to own the home for 90 days before you can go under contract with it. So on day 91, which we're only like 30 something days in, um, on day 91, then you can sell to FHA. So we got a little bit of a foot in the door in that you don't have to go FHA and you can go conventional. So, um, whereas other people might have been able to snatch this up as soon as it came on the market, um, because of the type of lending they have, they're limited. So anyway, um, I would not feel guilty for telling you to make an offer on this at all. There's just really nothing. A home inspection obviously will tell much more than I can. Um, and I've got a great home inspector, but. There's really, so far, nothing that would prevent me from buying this. Yeah. There's a rug in the way, so I haven't been able to open it. But these are great. These are obviously newer French doors. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, boy, breaking stuff. Um. Anyway, just showing you how the blinds work. You probably already know. <laughs> anyway, I am going to upload this to YouTube. And send it along to you and just let me know what you think. Bye.